Hey guys, it's seven and I'm outside. You know why? I don't even know. Can you like do crime later? So in today's video, I will be answering some of your questions you guys ask me on many social medias. I have them all written down so that I don't have to uh, do what I did during the whipped cream challenge where I constantly had to pause it to read the questions. So yeah, let's get right into it, shall we? Question one, how tall am I? I am 5'6". Super tall. <laughs> Next question is, what is your favorite panic song? And I think I've answered this in a couple of Q&As, but I actually have a new favorite this week. I actually am really digging Lying is Most Fun a Girl Can Have Without Taking Your Clothes Off. I don't know why. It's been, like, really catchy in my head nowadays, and I've always been listening to it. It's come on a couple times in the car, so I've been listening to it a lot. So I'm really digging that song at the moment. Next question is favorite band besides Panic. And if I had to pick, it, I have a lot of different like singers and bands I like. I like bands like Fall Out Boy, Twenty One Pilots, My Chemical Romance, Set It Off, Pierce the Veil, Bring Me the Horizon. All those bands I absolutely love. Motionless and White. I love all bands. <laughs> like really I could go on forever, especially with singers. Melanie Martinez, Halsey, so many more. But those are like really like majority of what they are. I love all those bands so much. Next question is, what is my favorite Fall Out Boy song? And my favorite Fall Out Boy song since I was a little kid has always been Tiffany Blues. When I was younger, I used to dance to that all the time. It was always like something that made me get off my feet. I would just dance to it all the time. But um, I really love that song. It's always been like a calling out song to me throughout my whole entire lifetime. <laughs> Next question is favorite 21 pilot song of my favorite 21 pilot song would probably be um Pantaloon. I love this song so much. It's like been one of my favorite songs since the beginning. When I actually found out they were a band, the first song I heard was I think it was either Addict with a Pen or Pantaloon, and Pantaloon has always been my favorite song. It's always got me dancing and it's always made me happy. Next question is how did I find out about Panic? And the way I found out about Panic is I've told, I've told this all the time. Uh, when I was about three or four years old I actually heard um, But It's Better If You Do on the radio and it really got me into listening to them. I was actually going to make a video about my lifetime with Panic. If you guys want to see that video give this video a thumbs up. But um, yeah that's really how I learned about them and then once I heard that song I kind of listened to it more and got really into them. Next question is, favorite Panic member? And I'm not gonna go with the obvious, like Brendan, because obviously I love Brendan so much, but if I just choose a different band member that I absolutely love, it'd probably be between old members and a member now. I love Ryan Ross, and I love Down Weeks, and also Kenny. Um, every single new member right now is amazing. I love Dan, I love Dallin, I love Kenny. Obviously, Brendan is the only person in the band, but um, I really love all the members more than anything. They are basically, like, my family. <laughs> Next question is favorite movies from 2016. If I had to pick favorite movies from 2016, I think this is something that counts, but I would have to choose Hateful Eight or Star Wars. Star Wars was amazing. I didn't expect it to be as amazing as it was. I'm not a Star Wars fan, so I didn't know much of what was going on, but it actually got me entertained. Um, Hateful Eight is pretty not appropriate for little, little kids, but that movie is so good. It was, like, gory. It was a lot of stuff going on. It's one of those movies where you kind of have to, like, look out for things before you actually know what's going on. You watch it more than once. You watch it, like, two times to actually realize what the storyline is. But, yeah, I saw that for the first time with my family, and I thought it was actually really funny and very action-packed and gory. <laughs> Next question is favorite song currently. My favorite song is actually from Set It Off, if you guys haven't heard of them. I know you guys will like them if you like Panic at the Disco, Fall Out Boy, or Tony Pilots. They are very similar to them, but they actually write in a very poetic kind of way. Um, my favorite song from them currently right now is Bleak December. That song is so good, it always puts me in a good mood. I was actually listening to that earlier today, 
And I just kept listening to it because it's honestly like one of those tunes where it gets stuck in your head super easily and you just can't stop singing it for like two days straight. <laughs> Next question is, what do I want to be when I'm older? My plan for when I'm older is actually to be a musician. I've really been learning how to play many instruments, for example. I've been self-teaching myself ukulele, guitar, piano, and drums. I've been really self-teaching myself a lot of those. I actually go to guitar lessons every Monday, but I really try to learn songs by myself as well and different concepts of a guitar. So yeah, I've been really planning on being a musician when I'm older. Everyone thinks that that's a really bad idea, but honestly, it's something I've wanted to do for the longest time, and I really am set on that at the moment. Next question is obviously from someone who saw my whipped cream video. Uh, the question is, how long have I been friends with Jordan? I've actually been friends with Jordan for six years. We have been uh, friends since third grade, and we have always been best friends. It was like meant to be. <laughs> we actually just got back from Maine two days ago, from our trip it was just me and her and her mom and we went to Maine together and it was pretty cool it was a good trip that's why I didn't make videos all week basically <laughs> next question is how many concerts have I been to I've actually been to practically I've been to 88 because of Warp Tour because <laughs> there's 85 different bands who play actually 87 if you <laughs> I did that one more um, 87 if you were counting um, Warp Tour I didn't see every single band there but I saw majority of the bands, but if I had to say, I'd probably just say practically three because, like, Warped Tour, I guess you can't count that, because if I were to count that, my sister has gone to probably 2,000, so, um, not gonna count Warped Tour. I've been to a Panic one, I've been to another Panic one, and I went to Warped Tour last week, so, <laughs> basically, I've been to three. <laughs> the next question is, what am I playing planning to be for Halloween. Uh, me and my friend Jordan like to scare kids on Halloween, so we're not going to go trick-or-treating because they're much older now. We are actually going to stand in our front yard like we did last year and scare kids. Our ideal costume is actually to be Purge Anarchy characters, so basically we'll be wearing those like Obama masks things with like the smiles and stuff and like we're holding like weapons, I guess. We're not going to hold like guns because I feel like that they're not going to sell those anymore since what's going on lately um but yeah we were planning to be purge anarchy characters and scare kids and people as they walk into our yard because it worked well last year <laughs> another question is actually a panic related question what is my favorite pretty odd song if i had to pick a favorite pretty odd song probably when the day met the night because that song is so catchy and I've always loved it. Um, I forgot what the song is called. It's a super long title but it has something like a mountain in the cabins. That song is also one of my favorites. I don't know what the song title is because it's so long and I always forget it but um, somehow I can remember all the other ones. But um, those are pretty much my two go-to songs on Pretty Odds when I'm listening to the album. I really like When the Day Met the Night a lot because it's just catchy and it makes me want to dance like I'm in the Beatles. <laughs> Next question is actually a really funny one. Have I ever been in a physical fight? Um, when I was super young, actually, I got in a fight. I can actually make this a story time video. But uh, when I was younger, I got in a fight with a girl and she kind of jumped on top of me, which caused me to kick her in the face a little bit. So I guess that could count as a physical fight, but I'm not sure because it was just one of those girl fights where she basically jumped on top of me. And in order for me to get her off of me was to kick her back with my foot. And we're friends now. So I guess that's what happens because, um, you know, <laughs> friends get along very well. <laughs> Last question is, how was Warp Tour? Warp Tour was absolutely amazing. I was going to make a story time video about that as well. Um, I already had a plan about it um, because I did a very exciting thing there. I'm not going to tell you yet. But Warp Tour was hot, sweaty, packed, comfortable, and everything. Because <laughs> when you're in those little crowds of people, you want to get to the front. You do. And there's people crowd surfing. I got kicked in the face like once. <laughs> but I, I was able to get a crowd surfer to the front of the... Um, security guards so uh, i'm proud of myself yeah, but in all honesty warp tour was actually like a new experience for me i loved warp tour so much one of the best days of my life 
I would have to say the best night of my life was actually my um, Panic at the Disco concert that I literally just went to two weeks ago. But that's obviously my favorite night of my whole entire life, including all my concerts I've been to. Ah, there's a bug in my ear. No! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. To give me even more support, hit that subscribe button right there. It means a lot to me. It helps you guys join my community. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Bye guys.